Today I'm playing Derrick Henry's Ravens career, and if he wins the Super Bowl before the day he retires, as a diehard Titans fan suffering from post Derrick depression, I'd have to buy his Ravens jersey and wear it in a video. I don't think my heart could handle that. He begins his Ravens jersey as a 94 overall, which unfortunately, because I already miss Derrick, it looks like he's happy to be in Baltimore. I mean, even though he's closing in on 30 years old, like I still think this guy has a lot of juice left in the tank. I mean, he's still a top five running back. I mean, I really do think Derek is going to put up ungodly numbers in this Ravens offense. So time to simulate this bad boy to the end of Derek's first season in Baltimore. And I would be shocked if this team doesn't win at least like 12 games and watch Derek run for 2,000 yards again this season. They went 15 and 2? So they even exceeded my expectations. And with Derek Henry, they get the one seed. I'm telling you, dude, as a Titans fan, this makes me so sad. Easily the best team in the NFL with Derrick Henry. Now, how bad did the Titans do? Oh, it looks like they didn't make the playoffs. Oh, no! Without Derrick Henry, they go 5-12. and 12. They were barely better than the Panthers. I mean, at least the entire division sucked pretty much. But now, time to reveal how Derrick did his first year as a Raven. They had a top 5 offense and the best defense. Well, safe to say Lamar had a pretty decent season. Only threw two interceptions all year long while completing 76% of his passes. Definitely seems like having the king helped him out a little bit. Now, how did Derrick Henry do? That's disgusting. Oh, that makes me so sick. When was the last time an NFL team had two 1,000-yard rushers on the same freaking offense? <laughs> Funny enough, it was in 2019. It also included Lamar Jackson. But my God, dude. 1,700 yards on 325 attempts. 15 rushing touchdowns. That's an average of 5.3 yards per carry. Over 300 carries on the season. I mean, imagine the numbers Derek could have really put up if he didn't have Lamar Jackson at quarterback. I mean, he easily could have scored 20 rushing touchdowns on the year. Like, he might have got some MVP votes. Now, through the air, like, nobody really stood out. But Derek did add with 200 plus yards and two receiving touchdowns. Don't think people really realize, especially the last few seasons, Derek's put up some numbers through the air. And here we have the NFL's number one ranked defense, Justin, good thing they re-signed him. Now, I actually really do expect Derek to have gotten some MVP votes. Actually, our man was robbed. At least I won coach of the year. He didn't even get voted in the top five for offensive player of the year. Dude, there's some sort of collusion going on. I mean, to be fair, 50 touchdowns to only three picks is pretty wild. Like, how did Pacheco finish higher than Derek? Derek had like 500 more rushing yards. Okay, so I guess that's fair. You know, with Rasheed Rice winning that award, 23 receiving touchdowns is actually kind of crazy. I guess Derek, Lamar, and the Ravens are just going to have to get revenge on the Chiefs in the playoffs because we're inevitably going to match up with them probably in the AFC Championship. And some pretty decent upgrades for the team at the end of the season that will obviously help them in their Super Bowl run. Derek did improve up to a 96 overall this season, but our guy is so happy that he's a temporary member of the 99 club. Now the big question, who are the Ravens in Derek? Henry gonna have to take on in the divisional round. They have to play Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. And of course, the Chiefs obliterated the Raiders in round one. So if they do win this week, they're gonna have to take on either the Chiefs or Josh Allen in the championship. And we are gonna jump in to watch how this bad boy unfolds. Now, the moment of truth, will Derrick Henry get one step closer to playing in his first career Super Bowl? Early start, Ravens go down the field, take a 7-0 lead. Ravens defense is balling out early on. They take a two-possession lead. Aaron Rodgers finally gets a field goal, 21-3, 21-10 going in the second half. The Jets, ooh, 24-10. They're hanging in there, though. Still one possession game. Not any longer. It's over. 34-17, 24-34. The Ravens come on top. Robert's not a happy boy. That beanie was unlucky. I think Derek's probably pretty happy with this performance. 19 attempts for 86 yards and a touchdown on the ground. Not too shabby. And I have to admit, if Lamar continues to play like this, this team's getting a ring 100%. But the main question now is will they be able to get that revenge on the Chiefs? And they do. And they did beat the Bills by 14 points. So this game's going to be an absolute barn burner. And if we do win, yours truly does have to play the Super Bowl. And there will be consequences if I lose. And we'll, we'll get to that if we actually make it. And on the NFC side of things, crazy that Baker Mayfield and the Bucks made it to the championship. Let's see if Lamar Jackson can finally get over the Patrick Mahomes 
Mahomes hump. One more win and Derrick Henry will actually be in a Super Bowl. And once again, the click of a button will determine Derrick Henry's fate. Early start again, 7-0 Ravens, although of course they immediately answer. Oh no, Chiefs take the lead, 10-7. Baltimore gets that field goal back. They didn't score before half. The Chiefs get a field goal. Oh no, it's a 20-10 game. Ravens, oh no, it's over, I think. 27-17, Ravens have a shot, it's over. The Chiefs are gonna come out with the victory as the 15-2 Ravens get shut down one game shy of the Super Bowl in back-to-back -back seasons. This is the second time in Derrick Henry's career. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs kept him out of a Super Bowl. Derrick only went for 63 on 16 attempts. Patrick Mahomes sometimes is just unbeatable, dude. I mean, there's always next year. Because I really do think next season this offense still has a shot to win it all. Oh, yay. We get a Chiefs 49ers Super Bowl for the third time in five years. Oh, yay. The Chiefs win a third consecutive Super Bowl. How predictable. I guess the first bit of business here is to make sure Derrick Henry didn't retire. I think we're in the clear for now. Next step is to see how big of a hit Derrick Henry's overall took because he is 30 years old. All the way down to a 91 overall. Still a superstar X factor though, which is pretty crazy as a 30-year-old running back. I just think it is kind of dumb that his overall takes such a big hit after putting up this sort of season. And it looks like they already extended his contract another season. So I guess he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Still plenty of time to get that Super Bowl ring. But for that to be the case, I really hope the Ravens spend some money this offseason to make the team even better around Derek. So they made a few okay signings. I mean, not much money spent, bunch of one-year deals, but at least the team will be a little bit better because of this. And hopefully they can put together a pretty good draft class here. I mean, that's a pretty respectable draft class. Got Brian Thomas in the second, Austin Booker in the third, Kyrie Jackson, solid cornerback in the fourth. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the Bears still found the way to eat Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr. But headed in the next season again, I think this team is poised to make another run. But interested to see if this defense can continue this year as the number one unit. And I am also interested to see, with him falling down to a 91 overall, if he can still put up an insane level of production. Because even as a 30-year-old dude, like these are still some insane stats as a top 10 running back. Don't know about 15 wins again, but I'd expect at least 12. Oh, a pretty massive step backwards for the Ravens, but they still squeeze out a playoff spot, which three teams from the division actually made the playoffs. Titans still haven't rebounded after the departure of Derrick. So the offense wasn't near as effective, and the defense at least was still top five. So through the air, the offense was nowhere near as effective. Only 19 passing touchdowns didn't even eclipse 3,000 yards. Now, most importantly, how did our boy Derrick do? I mean, that's still insane numbers for a 30-year-old running back. 15 rushing touchdowns for the second consecutive season. Like, 1,500 yards is not too shabby. I mean, averaging 4.8 yards per carry at his age is just unheard of. Again, this team just still can't do anything through the air. Like, Zay Flowers has been a massive disappointment, as did our first-round pick, Brian Thomas. Why do you only have three catches all year? Still don't understand how Lamar got so many votes with those numbers. This time came in ninth place in Offensive Player of the Year votings, and you'll never guess who actually won the award. I mean, to be fair, he did have a pretty wild season and improved a little bit throughout the season, back up to a 92 overall. Even though he had a good year, I still, this offseason, don't expect him to retire, but he'll probably take a pretty big step backwards in terms of ratings. But hopefully, before we get to that point, after this playoff run, he'll be a Super Bowl champion. The Chiefs didn't even make the playoffs this season. What the heck? How on earth did this happen? Hopefully, they just don't get first rounded. So early on, the Bengals, they take the lead 7-0. Ravens and Lamar Jackson strike. They take the lead 14-7. Going into halftime, 21-4. to oh, There's so many points scored in this game. 21-21. to Ravens, oh, they missed the extra point field goal game. Oh my gosh, so much is going on. It might be over now. Ravens come out on top in Cincinnati in an absolute electric offensive showcase. No big deal, just 72 points scored just like that. But at least Derek didn't get first rounded. He might not have been as productive in the regular season, but by far his best playoff performance as a Raven yet. 174 yards, two rushing touchdowns, 7.8 yards per carry is insane. So on to the divisional round where they have to take on Josh Allen in Buffalo. 
low. And if we do somehow come out on top, it's either traveling to Jacksonville or Miami for the conference championship. And I have to admit, this Bills team does have quite a bit of depth. A lot of talented players. But we should have a realistic shot here. This would by far be the biggest win in the Derrick Henry Ravens tenure. Bills take the lead 7-0. Oh no. We're not scoring in this game finally before halftime. This is a super low scoring game. Ravens take the lead by a field goal. Bills regain the lead 17-14. A few minutes left to go. The Ravens somehow hang on in a very low scoring weird game. I mean, I guess it is Buffalo in January. 17-14. That just wasn't what I was expecting. But at least Derrick Henry moves on. Not a single turnover from either quarterbacks. And another playoff performance I know Derrick would be super proud of. Almost 100 yards and a touchdown in a super, super close game. Still don't understand why Tyler Wallace is getting so much playing time. Dude, the Ravens secondary limited Stephon Diggs to one catch for 25 yards. But for this year's AFC Conference Championship, will it be the Bills or Jags? Regardless, for the Ravens fans, at least it's not going to be the Chiefs. They got to travel to Jacksonville. I mean, they beat the Dolphins pretty handily. And on the other side of things, Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison went from worst team in the league to one game away from the Super Bowl. I mean, if they could beat the Bills, dude, they can beat this Jags team. I mean, it's obvious they have the talent, but do they have the heart? Keep in mind at this point, if the Ravens lose this game. This will be three consecutive seasons losing one game shy of making the Super Bowl. Can Lamar Jackson finally get over the hump? Good stop from our defense to open the game. 3-0. Jags tie things up 3 all. It's a field goal game right now. Jags finally get the first touchdown. Oh no, dude. They got the ball. It's a 10-point game. The offense is choking. They need two touchdowns super fast. I think it's over. Oh my gosh. For a third consecutive season, the Ravens go out in the conference championship game. Dude, this is actually kind of unbelievable. Not a single touchdown pass all game. They only gave the ball to Derrick Henry 11 times. I mean, this right here is why they lost. I mean, if Derrick doesn't retire this offseason, he's probably going to regress quite a bit. So the question at this point, is the Ravens Super Bowl window after this still even open? I have to admit that was probably a pretty lit Super Bowl though. Now is Derrick Henry sticking around for another season? I think we're in the clear so far. Looks like he's coming back. Now the big question, is he still an X Factor? Oh gosh, he's no longer a 90 overall. He fell another 4 overall down to an 87 but still hung on to his X Factor. But with that regression, he's now barely a top 20 running back. I still wish there was something Madden could do differently about this. Like why did our man drop eight overall in the past two years when he put up 30 touchdowns like over 3,000 yards combined like there's got to be a way a little bit more sophisticated than dropping somebody's overall just because of age but I still think he can put up monster numbers in this offense which next season might be his last as a Raven and we might see him actually sign with another team hoping the front office can invest at least a little bit more in the team this year than they did last offseason I mean at least they improved the offensive line quite a bit I mean this offense still looks absolutely insane. Hopefully they can compile another usable draft class here. I mean, if we're being completely honest, dude, like, this is pretty garbage. Of course, Travis Hunter went number one. So with this being Derrick Henry's potential last season as a Raven, hopefully the offense can display their greatness again, and hopefully make it past the conference championship game for once. But I'm expecting at least 13 wins this season. What do you mean? They had a top 10 offense? Why did the defense suck all of a sudden? How does a 91 overall team win six games? I mean, this defense isn't even bad. This is just complete insanity. I mean, Lamar was incredible, but oh no, Derek's starting to regress. I mean, they did give him like a hundred less carries this season, and he, he still almost eclipsed a thousand yards, but it's crazy. He dropped that much in performance, and he's still an 89 overall. At least they finally used Brian and Thomas this season. Now I guess we see if the Ravens give Derrick Henry another contract. It'll probably just be a one-year deal. Don't matter. We wouldn't have beat the Chiefs in the playoffs anyway. And just for the memes, I would like to point out that Lamar won MVP on a six-win 
team. And as of now, it looks like Derrick Henry didn't retire this offseason. But at this point, I think I'm just going to go ahead and simulate to next year and see where the heck Derrick Henry ends up. All I know is the Ravens overall dropped a ton this past offseason. And the Ravens starting running back this season's going to be... Who? Safe to say it's a uh, pretty big step backwards. So the main question now is where the heck did Derrick Henry end up and how much did his overall actually drop? Oh no, dude. He's way down there. He's an 83 overall and Derrick Henry is a member of the Los Angeles Rams. He completely passed over superstar development and fell from X Factor to star and it was just the Mickey Mouse one year deal. I have to admit, dude, he joined a pretty stacked offense. Drake Mays is quarterback. He has Puka, Cooper Cup, and Debo Samuel at receiver. No Aaron Donald anymore, but still a pretty solid defense from top to bottom. But I think it definitely should be a team that's in the playoff hunt. Whether or not they can actually win the Super Bowl remains to be seen. And honestly, a little shocked. They did win 11 games and of course made the playoffs with that record. Derrick Henry once again a part of a top five offense. Defense did kind of suck though. Great season from Drake May, who obviously is a franchise QB. But Derrick, as a 32 year old, still eclipsed a thousand yards. I mean, yeah, he didn't have the best yards per carry average, but that's already the third time since he's been 30 years old that he scored 15 rushing touchdowns. He also had 360 yards through the year, which hilarious enough is the second best of his career. Who could just do him puka things, you know, with his 20 receiving touchdowns and all. Now let's see if this team's a pretender or not. I'm just going to simulate this game individually and they did get a 24 to 10 win. And definitely not the best of performances from Derrick Henry, but hey, a win's a win. Now, can they actually beat Saquon Barkley and the Eagles, though? Not much going on here in the first quarter. No points scored. Rams take a 3 to nothing lead. Eagles go on top, 7-3. Rams strike back. 10 to 7, 17 to 7 going into halftime. Oh my gosh, this might be a blowout. 24 to 7. Eagles stand in there though. I think the Rams just clinch the victory. And for what, the fourth, fifth time in his career, Derrick Henry is headed to the conference championship game. Honestly, shocked they beat the Eagles this bad. Drake May putting on a freaking clinic. I mean, at least Derrick outperformed Saquon for the NFC conference championship game. Please, please don't tell me it's going to be against the Cowboys. It's against the Cowboys. Derek can't take another loss in the conference championship, dude. Can this finally be the year? Derek Henry breaks the Super Bowl curse. Cowboys take a 7 the lead early. Rams strike back, though. 7 all. Have a chance to take the lead. 10 to 7. Come on, dude. Cowboys take the lead. Rams get it right back. This is a wild one, boys. Cowboys on top again. One point game going to the fourth quarter. Rams take the lead. Get the two point conversion. Cowboys 31 28. Rams. Oh, no. Not again. Dude! Oh, I'm sick to my stomach. For what the fifth time in his career, he loses one game shy of the Super Bowl. Definitely wasn't his best performance, but dude, that's just so sad. Because dude, he really might retire this offseason. Not gonna lie, dude, this is getting kind of ridiculous. Did our guy finally call it quits? No! The King is done after a decade plus in the NFL. And even though his teams continuously let him down again and again, he still had an incredible career and solidified himself as one of the best running backs in NFL history. And at least I don't have to spend my money on something that broke my heart. And even though he did win a Super Bowl, hopefully you still enjoyed it. And if you did, you can click right here to watch my Tennessee Titans franchise series where Derrick Henry has solidified himself as probably the best running back of all time. Now, if you haven't clicked this next video yet, you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. That would make me super happy.